Hi friends, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is your uh, Goindraj. Uh, in the previous videos, I already indicated uh, about this 1.16% additional contribution for those employees who opt for higher pension option. In fact, this is not a very new news. Even from the Supreme Court judgment uh, during November and in the latest videos, I already talked about this additional contribution of 1.16% which is going to be uh, additional burden uh, in the hands of employees though it is getting adjusted from employer contribution but the money which is going to uh, higher pension uh, will be uh, larger to the extent of 1.16 percent now this uh, news is official you must have already read uh, in the news uh, that the epfo has already uh, informed via circulars and the central government has brought amendments to uh, code on social security which is uh, very uh, related to employees uh, pension scheme and employees provident fund now, uh, before getting into uh, these details, let me give you a certain background. See, if you look at uh, uh, the, the Provident Fund, both employer and employee contributes 12% uh, each to Provident Fund. And currently, uh, out of employer contribution, 8.33% is getting remitted to the EPS account for uh, eligible employees. And this is as per para 3 of the EPS scheme 1995. However, uh, if the EPF wages exceeds 15,000 rupees, the EPS contribution is limited to the uh, wage ceiling of 15,000 rupees. And the difference contribution is actually getting diverted to EPF account. Now, uh, during 2014, uh, important amendments were brought for para 3 and 11 of EPS uh, scheme and these amendments have actually made additional contribution of 1.16% for wages exceeding 15k in the hands of employees for those who opt for contribution on actual wages to uh, EPS uh, because the previous uh, you know to 1-9-2014 there was a possibility to contribute EPS and actual wages and this was the provision uh, which actually created an option for higher pension uh, you know uh, option for all the eligible employees who were there before 1-9-2014. Uh, now let me show you um, this uh, EPS scheme especially paragraph uh, you know 3 and in the paragraph 3 uh, you know sub subclass 2 this is already uh, stated that the government is going to pay 1.16 percent uh, additional contribution also uh, for uh, this EPS uh, fund but whereas uh, paragraph 11 4 which made the amendment uh, during 2014 this uh, additional contribution of 1.16 percent for those who employees who opt for higher pension option for them uh, the wages beyond 15,000 rupees uh, this 1.16 percent contribution is is is, uh, is put on the employees uh, uh, you know level or the employees required to pay this additional contribution of 1.16 percent now this is the uh, changes were brought in uh, 2014 but when this matter was uh, before the court and it was litigated uh, long uh, finally the honorable supreme court in the judgment dated uh, 4th november 2022 especially in the case of sunil kumar uh, you know this uh, part of this amendment of 2014 has held to be as ultra virus and in fact the, uh, the honorable high court has also indicated to the government that one of the possible solution to cover up uh, the deficit is by enhancing the rate of contributions of the employers to EPS. Now the government understood that the EPS, uh, in fact the judgment or the Supreme Court understood that uh, if at all the EPS has to run uh, comfortably and it has to be strengthened, uh, the government, uh, the, the court understood that uh, there is a requirement of this uh, deficit fund. So this, uh, the court uh, left the judgment or uh, the measures to the EPFO department. I will show you the judgment as well. In fact, paragraph 11.4, if you see, 44 the paragraph 44 4 uh, the honorable supreme court clearly said that this uh, putting on the employee 1.16 percent beyond uh, the 15,000 wages this is held to be ultra virus but as i said the uh, the court understood the requirement of this additional fund and uh, this court indicated that uh, you know uh, this has to be generated through legitimate source and and within the scope of that and uh, it also indicated this which which could include enhancing the rate of contribution of the employers and that is where uh, the epfo is taking the cue uh, from uh, this judgment and has brought these amendments 
actually the government could have brought the amendment to EPS scheme 1995 and more particularly para 3 and could have increased the contribution of employers in the case of employees who opt for higher pension. But however, the government did not touch the EPF, the EPF and miscellaneous provisions act 1952 are also uh, the schemes under this uh, provision. But the government chose to enforce the provisions of code on social security 2020 considering that the codes have to be, be implemented in the future anyhow. Now the government is looking for opportunities to bring the provisions of the code uh, to see the light of the day for this, uh, these provisions. And uh, also you may also know that the EPF and Miscellaneous Provisions Act 1952 is actually subsumed into uh, the Code on Social Security uh, 2020 and Section 16 of the code talks about the contribution to schemes related to Provident Fund and EPS. And in fact, uh, the subclass 1 of subclass B of uh, sub, you know, uh, subsection 1 of 16 provides for 8.33% contribution to EPS from the employer's contribution and it also empowers the government to decide this percentage and uh, notify and the central government utilizing this power now notified the revised contribution to EPS in case of employees who opt for a year pension option in line with the Supreme Court uh, judgment uh, which I already told you. Now let us look into what is this code on social security provision which I am showing you uh, 16 1 and uh, subclass B this already says that uh, the contribution to EPS from the employer's contribution it is 8.33 percent and if at all the government wants to change this the central government has the power to notify these changes so you can already see here so therefore using this power uh, now the, the the central government has uh, notified uh, this uh, additional contribution of 1.16 percent uh, in the hands of uh, employer or the employer contribution currently which is 8.33 percent now it will get to 9.49 uh, percent now the uh, notification number SO2061E is issued on 3rd May 2023. This has changed the employer contribution to EPS to 9.49% instead of 8.33%. But this change does not affect the uh, government contribution of 1.16% up to the wage ceiling of 15,000 EPF wages. And this increased contribution of 1.16% is applicable only to the wages exceeding 15,000 uh, EPF wages. Uh, some people must have wrongly interpreted that this 1.16% is applicable on, on the entire PF wages. No, it is not like that. It is only uh, for the wages exceeding uh, 15,000 rupees. I will show you the notification which came on 3rd May 2023. Uh, you know, uh, this is uh, SO2 not uh, 206. One e this clearly said that this 9.49 percent for those who opt for a year pension uh, joint option under uh, paragraph uh, 11 uh, of of the amended scheme amended scheme of uh, you know 19 2014 and this is very clearly the subclass 2 is very clearly stating that this is for the wages which exceeds 15000 rupees and also remember friends this uh, amendment has got a retrospective of effect of first day of 2014 so that means uh, people who are eligible uh, for higher pension option those who were members before 19 2014 and now they opt for this higher pension option they have to contribute this additional contribution to uh, uh, you know eps from 19 2014 but however uh, there is no additional contribution in the hands of employer and also the employee because the employer has already contributed 12% and which is 3.67 percent is sitting in account number one now from 2014 September onwards to the extent of additional contribution will get adjusted to you know EPS account which is account number 10 and going ahead this uh, you know adjustment also will happen or this revised contribution will also happen for those people who uh, you know uh, opt for higher pension option uh, as i have told you this change has been brought from the retrospective date that means for this period even those people who have retired during this period they have to contribute uh, this uh, additional uh, contribution and uh, one more important para, you know thing you have to know is uh, the code is actually passed in the year 2020 and it has not been uh, implemented because uh, there is something called appointed date or effective date which is not notified except only one or two provisions which are related to you know identification of people related to other only those are implemented but the rest of the provisions have not been uh, you know implemented now the uh, in order to effect these changes which 
brought uh, by way of notification the provisions which are related to EPS and Provident Fund, uh, especially whatever related to these changes have to be given effective date. So therefore, on 3rd May 2023 itself, the central government appointed the date as 3rd May 2023 for uh, all the provisions which are actually related to uh, the EPS. More particularly, Section 15.3 of uh, you know the Code on Social Security, uh, you know which uh, uh, powers the government to change the contributions from prospectively or retrospectively. And there is six, Section 16.1a, Section 16.1b, 143, 164, 164.1, 164.2b. All these are related to uh, these changes have been uh, made as effective from 3rd May 2023. So. Now, the contribution of uh, employer to EPS is now altered uh, progressively in the case of employees who opt for higher pension. But before that, let me uh, show you also this appointed date notification, this SO2060E. This clearly says that the appointed date is 3rd day of May 2023 for all these uh, provisions which are especially related to this change, which is related to Employees Provident Fund and Employees Pension Scheme 1995. So this is uh, one of the notification for you. Now, Coming back to our journey, this contribution of employer to EPS is now altered progressively in the case of employees who opt for higher pension. And now instead of crediting 3.67% of EPF wages to PF account number 1, the revised credit will be only 2.51% of the EPF wages because this 3.67% from the employer contribution was going to account number 1 and you were getting uh, this interest on uh, the balance lump sum which was available in account number 1. Now uh, from the date of 1-9-2014, uh, this gets adjusted even including the interest also gets adjusted to EPS account and your uh, EPF account uh, amount is, is drastically is going to come down. But uh, as I told you, this uh, additional contribution uh, from the employer contribution is only for the wages which exceeds 15,000 rupees. Now, let me take a simple example. Suppose your salary today or whatever the date is 25,000 rupees, that is EPF wages. Now, the employee contributes at 12%, which works out to 3,000 rupees. And this will directly go to EPF account. Now, how the adjustment will happen from the employer contribution? Employer is also contributing this equal percentage of 12% and this will also work out 3000 rupees. Now the EPS contribution at 8.33% up to uh, 15,000 wages is 1250 which is already limited. Now EPS contribution of 9.49% on wages exceeding 15,000 which is the difference wages is 10,000 rupees that will work out uh, 949 rupees. Therefore the revised contribution from the employer contribution to EPS will be uh, 2199. So if you work out this 2199 to total wages this will work out to 8.33%. But uh, this percentage uh, if you work out this 2199 to uh, you know wages 25,000 this will be 8.80 percent of your wages will go to uh, you know EPS instead of 8.3 percent regular. Now uh, the higher the wages uh, your, your EPF wages then higher is the EPF contribution and the percentage but let me demonstrate you through uh, one simple example see here I have shown you this EPF monthly wages I have taken examples of 25,000 to 2.5 lakhs now 25,000 example I have already told you 8.33% uh, for 15 case 1250 which is already done then 9.49% for wages beyond uh, 15k is 949 so you are going to contribute 2199 if at all your salary is uh, uh, you know more than uh, 15000 rupees now this will work out to 8.80 percent now take an example of higher wages this percentage of contribution to eps uh, we will increase progressively and of course this will cannot be more than 9.49 percent but it will somewhere the wages you know increases it will get settled down by 9.42 or 9.43 percent so uh, higher the wages the higher the percentage of contributions up to 9.49 percent will will be uh, you know hit on your uh, side now uh, friends this is a these are the examples which i gave you 
Uh, now let me uh, you know uh, tell you that this I've already told you that this change will be from 1 9 2014 and you also have to remember that the interest you earned on this difference wages will also be transferred to the EPS account so this is what is important now uh, having told all this information friends you also have to think is higher pension is still beneficial for employees now let me tell you the pension formula is pensionable salary into pensionable service divided by 70 and in the normal cases it is already uh, you know calculated on pro rata basis and the higher pension cases will also be in the same logic and not the last 60 months average you must be thinking that the last 60 months average they will take it as pensionable salary into your service divided by 70 they will give you the, uh, the decide the pension no it will not be like this when uh, when I told you in the case of normal pension it is uh, based on pro rata ba basis how can you expect that the last 60 months wages will be uh, take considered for uh, you know a pension calculation in your uh, pension ca cases in fact in uh, in the first circular of the EPFO uh, they have told that they will clarify how do they calculate but they have not uh, so far come back but this is going to come the clarity is going to come on this and what I told you is this will be based on a pro rata basis depending on your salaries uh, from 19 2014 or even much before that so based on that there are certain uh, certain uh, you know slabs calculations will be there that are going to come so therefore friends don't think that it is uh, very highly beneficial for you uh, and this is going to cost you more money depending on uh, you know what is the loss and what is the gain uh, you are having you have to conclude whether to opt for a year pension or not and recently this uh, the, the EPFO department has increased or extended the date of joint option uh, in the online up to 26 June 2023 so if you feel that it is beneficial for you you still have a uh, time so before I sign off let me show you uh, uh, the EPFO circulars recently the EPFO in fact uh, brought two uh, circulars for their uh, regional offices on 4th November 4th uh, May 2023 they have they have talked about this uh, implementation date of this uh, provisions of the code on social security and also one more circular which uh, they have also talked about this uh, increase of contributions from 1.16 percent from the date of first day of 2014 so this is an education for all the regional offices so that they will be aware and when these applications comes they have to act as per uh, these uh, you know uh, notifications and uh, you know uh, implementation point of view uh, thank you friends so far uh, you have uh, watched my uh, video this is quite longer but if you uh, see from uh, the beginning to last you are going to understand uh, exactly what is this point all about it uh, if this uh, channel is being uh, you know educating uh, you and giving you more knowledge and value uh, addition uh, please subscribe this channel and also share it to your friends and uh, colleagues and I will see you in the next video Video with new information friends and also uh, all these uh, circulars and notifications what I have shown you uh, I have uh, put it in the description box you can download uh, with the links uh, using uh, uh, these links provided in the description box thank you friends and see you soon